You ever wake up and you don't know where you are? Because usually the previous night you're doing some debacle or debauchery or some tomfoolery that you can't really explain until you regain your thoughts the next morning. Like you wake up on a pillow, then you realize you're not even in your own bed. Enjoy the show. Okay, so my friend asked me, how would I rob a bank? And I didn't really know why he asked me that. It was kind of odd. But I need to know what type of bank, you know? You can't just walk into a bank and rob it. You have to know every detail. How many exits, how many employees, who works when, who's not a hero, all that nonsense. So just summing up, what's the best part to rob? You go for the ATM, you go to the cash registers, you go to the vault. No deposit boxes. Everyone's personal boxes, because in those boxes you could find dirt on people. On anything. People put stuff in those boxes for a reason, because they don't want to save them at home. There's something they want to hide most of the time, and it could be valuable. And a lot of time, people won't report it stolen. Because it's something they're not supposed to have, or they're hiding. Something like that. So always go for the safety deposit boxes, and... I don't know, I don't really have a plan. Or anything. But, yeah. Keep watching. Okay, honestly, I'm never going to California. Because this is like the one billionth fire I've seen on TV. That was just an exaggeration, but it's true. I really don't want to go to Cali because look at all this, man. 500, what is it, 500 Southern California mobile homes were destroyed. How do these fires start? Is it because some Joe Blow is out there like... And then boom, the whole forest goes up in flames. It's like, if you want to prevent fires, why don't they have like these weekly rituals when they know there's a dry spell and you just grab water and you spray it on them? fucking trees just just spray the whole fucking forest wouldn't it be expensive i don't know use salt water just to you know moisturize a little salt's probably bad for trees but still they should do more about it okay if you noticed there's been a lot of gay people marching around sorry if that was inappropriate homosexuals the point i'm trying to say is that there's been a lot of homosexuals going around and having marches and rallies because they want to get married because a good majority of the country said fuck that we're revoking your rights hmm can we can the u.s do that can usa give us rights and then take them back because if you granted them the right to get married but then you can revoke it what else can the u.s government revoke that's fucking bullshit that means they could revoke our freedom freedom of speech Right? That's a right they gave us. But if one day the government says, or a state is like, you know what, we don't want our people to have the right to speak, so we're going to vote on it. And it will probably pass, but that means that people can vote on this thing. And maybe some people don't want the right to speak. Or the right to bear arms. That could be a new way around our amendments and around our rights. Is to let the people vote. And enough people could get manipulated to think that, hey, it's a good idea if I vote against this. And then after a while, we start losing our laws, our rights, and shit. So I want people to really marinate on the thought. Don't think of it as just gay marriage. Think of it as a right that was granted to a, a group of people in America and was taken away. Because now, involve yourself in something you believe in, and that is your right. And imagine that one day people voted on it, and it was lost. Now you can no longer do that. You can no longer have the choice to do whatever it is you want to do. Think about that. Put aside the whole differences of what you like for sex. <laughs> Just think about how, what is next to be taken away from people. Gay marriage now, what next? Right to bear arms. I know a lot of southerners are probably going to agree with that. Whoa, you can't take away my guns. But yeah, but if the people vote on it and they don't want guns anymore, whoosh, scratch you don't have the right to bear arms anymore people have spoken so think about it you really want to protect our rights and whenever there's a vote like this to remove something that was given to us you shouldn't vote against it just let it be let it be let the people vote who cares what they do i don't care if they want that right go ahead 
do it. Do what you want. That's what America's about. It's about doing what you want. It's about being free and having the rights. And to answer Wolfenhouse's, I believe that's how you say it. If I said it wrong, I apologize. Question about my hair and whether it's annoying for me to grow it out. And no, I really just don't care. I just don't see the point in paying $15 for a haircut just to get another haircut a month later. It's a waste of money in my eyes. So I just grow my hair out. And yeah, I do like it long. I'm not that cheap. I do like it. It's just not that annoying to me. I just let it grow and I brush it here and there. I rarely take care of it and I piss people off about that. But hey, my hair's amazing. What can I say? I've just read there's been over 4,000 American deaths in this war. And as bad as that sounds, it's been over five years. Now, five years, that's longer than World War II. And we've lost less people. So it kind of sucks when you're in a situation where everyone disagrees with a war, but there's no casualties to make your point of why it's a bad war. Because Vietnam, that's a bad war, and we lost a lot of people at the same time. Here, it's no one agrees with it, but there's more and more people signing up to go fight rather than because there's no there's no draft, and there's less people dying. It's kind of hard to post an argument against war that no one agrees with. You get some people who do agree with it will go and risk their lives, and it's the sacrifice they made to go, dude. And there's no draft. You can't really blame anyone but the people who go th about the war. Yeah. And when I meant World War II, I know a lot of people are like, No, it was longer than that, bro. No, I meant America's involvement in the war. Dumbass. Because it wasn't really our war. It wasn't even the U.S.'s war. U.S. didn't even give two shits until Japan came over here and bombed Pearl Harbor. You know, we didn't care. We probably would If Hitler would have succeeded... And Japan didn't bomb us, we probably would have been allies with Adolf Hitler. Maybe. Probably. Because, you know, for all the bad things, like, oh, they tied up Jews and put them in Holocaust, which was terrible, but we did the same thing to Japanese people. The only difference was we didn't kill them. So that's all I really had to say at 325 on the 16th, on the Sunday of November of 2008 of the new millennia. You guys know the drill. I need more subscribers, I need more comments, I need more ratings, because I'm probably not going to keep doing this if I don't get enough people to watch. Unless you 20 people really do like me. Then tell me about it if you like me so much. You leave a comment and you have people subscribe, alright? Roll the credits.